please excuse the fan noise, but it is f -f 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 cold out here. I got this stupid little thing on eBay for, I want to say, 40 bucks shipped. 48 bucks. I don't know, but it's everything. The whole timing kit and the water pump and the gasket, cam seal, main seal, tensioner, idler, valve cover. The only thing it didn't include is a new CAS O-ring for back here, which is obviously and leaking. But that is a one and a half inch inside diameter, one and three quarter inch outside diameter with a one eighth inch wall thickness Viton O-ring. Get it at Ace Hardware, any hardware store, but get Viton because that is oil and heat resistant. And then that will complete your kit. That was only like a couple bucks. We're gonna knock this out today. We're also gonna try and get some seat mounts made up for the new seat so I know where to make the main hoop. Luckily on this guy, everything's out of the way, so it should be pretty basic, nice and easy. I will show you how to set top dead center. This is a non-interference inline four, so that means when the timing mark behind this pulley on the main sprocket is at top dead center, that means number one is at top dead center. If it goes all the way around, one's going to be at top dead center again. One's going to be at top, it just, that's how it works. So, once you set it to the timing mark on the lower crank pulley, you're at top dead center on one. It doesn't matter compression or exhaust stroke because you're going to set that on here. And that lines up with that, so everything's timed. It's not that complicated. So I don't even worry about that. I just get everything off. Go ahead and break the water pump pulley bolts loose while you have the belt on it. Then loosen the alternator. If you had power steering and AC, you would need to loosen the power steering as well. To get those belts off, we can pull the dampener pulley off and then access the rest of the guts. We also need to pull the valve cover off. Time to get all that off. Okay. Now you know you have top dead center on piston one when the point is at the notch. Your exhaust cam is pointing straight up with the eye pointing right at the eye on the valve cover plate for the intake cam. The E is pointing at the E on the plate. And then there are 19 teeth between this line on this pulley and this line on this pulley. You can see it's very loose because this tensioner probably hasn't been adjusted since it was installed. The belt looks pretty new, but I'd rather not risk it. The water pump could fail, the tensioner could fail, the belt could fail. The gaskets behind these pulleys could fail, so all of that's going to get changed today. The motor will pop before this stuff goes bad again.
So this kit, the cheapest kit on eBay, comes with a front main seal, but this is the wrong size. It should be about the same size as the cam seals, but black. And this ain't it. So I had to buy it. It was only eight bucks. Uh, not bad. The whole kit was 45. So whatever. Now we're gonna get this all installed, put back together, and time. Now with this timing line lined up, all you've done without a timing belt is decide that number one is at top dead center. If number one is connected right here, right? And it's going up and down as this goes around one's gonna go down and then come back up it's back up at the top every full rotation is either a compression or an exhaust stroke on the first cylinder and so forth and so on so when this gets halfway to here you're at top dead center on number two top dead center etc etc so when we set this at top dead center now we've decided number one is at top dead center that then decides where these are because of the timing belt. So you're deciding whether it's on the intake or the exhaust stroke because you're setting the timing. And then the cam position sensor or the cam angle sensor is then deciding where the engine is at and then it fires it based on those sensor readings. That's all. As long as this V is in that notch, you're at top dead center one. And then you just time the intake and exhaust off of that and you're good to go. I'm going to do that now. So that wraps up the timing belt and we got the seat mount started, but we ran out of wire. So I got to get some wire tomorrow. Then we'll continue on with that. Got the front main seal in. It worked. And that's going to do it for today. So like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep modding.